Hi guys, I'm going to read you The Paper Bag Princess today. The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. It's one of our favorite stories. We've read it before. And I have my paper bag on and my tiara. Remember, the author's name is right under the title. There's the title of the book, The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. And the dedication is to Elizabeth. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive clothes. Expensive? That means something costs a lot of money. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed their castle and burned all of her clothes with his fiery breath. He carried off Prince Ronald. Oh, goodness. There goes Ronald. Oh. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put the paper bag on and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he had left a trail of burnt forest and horses' bones. Oh, goodness. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged it on the door. Boom, boom, boom. A knocker is something that you can use on a door. You might have a knocker on your door, on your front door. You might have a little hole, like a peep hole, that you can see when people are on the outside. The dragon stuck his nose out the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. And he slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Ouch. That would have hurt. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The second time she's doing it, right? Boom. Boom. The dragon stuck his nose out the door and said, Go away. I have love to eat princesses. But I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, wait. Sh <laughs> Is it true that you are the smartest and the fiercest dragon in the whole world? Well, well yes, said the dragon. Hmm. He's proud of himself. She's telling him that, you know, maybe he is the best. Is it true? Asked Elizabeth. Can you burn up Ten forest with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon. And he took a huge deep breath. And he breathed out so much fire that he burnt up fifty forests. Not just ten like she asked him. He did fifty. Oh. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that now he burnt up one hundred forests. One hundred, remember, one zero zero is one hundred. Magnificent, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath, but this time nothing came out. The dragon couldn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. A little meatball. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon. And he jumped up and he flew all the way around the world in 10 seconds. I wonder if he came back he was, right? He was very tired when he got back. But Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic! Do it again! So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to even talk, and he lay down and went straight to sleep. When is the time that you just lay down and go right to sleep? Maybe after a day that you play a lot, 
or maybe you go out in a boat or to the beach. That's how tired the dragon was. He went straight to sleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon, hey, dragon. And he didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head inside and shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he still didn't move. Elizabeth walked over to the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and he said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes. Your hair is all tangled and you're wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. Ronald, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. And you look like a real prince. But you are a bum. And they didn't get married after all. Look at Elizabeth. Is she excited? She's running all off without Ronald into the sunset. Do you think Elizabeth was happy that she ran after Ronald? She told him that she wasn't going to marry him after all. That's our story, the paper bag princess. I miss you guys. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.